Jeff Hansen, Window Warriors Forum. Check us out at windowcleaningwarriors.com. Today we're going to take a look at bad thermal pane windows, what it looks like. In this bay of six windows, you can see the upper window, this lower window, we have this lower window. So three out of these six have bad thermal panes. It's very easy to notice which windows have the bad thermal panes. When these lower windows have screens, it muffles the look more than the upper window. Here's a clear view of a window without a broken thermal pane, and here's the bad thermal pane. The bad thermal pane just develops moisture and humidity condensation between the panes. You can notice that the edges are nice and clear for an inch, and it consumes mainly the center of the window. And it's that constant moisture of it being wet then drying that leaves the stains. You also get to a point, you can see this window here has drips from the moisture where it condensates in between the thermal panes. You can see in this uh, bottom window here, between my fingers, there's a haze right around there on this line. Right here, you can see it's much clearer. So that top part of that bottom window is much clearer. There is a screen behind this. So this lower window does have a bad thermal pane. It's not as noticeable. If this were to be the upper window, you'd notice it much more because it's a clear view without the muffled screen. So if we take this and open the screen, or open the window, you can see the bottom inch all the way around the perimeter, nice and clear. But that bad thermal pane starts, it consumes the center of the window. And it also has spots. You can notice all these little spots throughout the window, and that's the discoloring on the window tint. These windows have a tint in between that thermal pane, and that's what's being affected. Another look at a window with a bad thermal pane. This is the same home. This is on the front side of the home with divided windows. These dividers are in between, so they're sealed. And you can see how the sealed dividers change the appearance and it kind of makes individual cavities of the window and that moisture develops inside those small individual cavities. The smaller the cavity, the more moisture seems to develop. You can see how much condensation, this is excessive condensation, and this is all sealed in between. You can't touch it from the inside or the outside. So what we can do when we see bad thermal panes or recommend to our customers is we can notify them that the best resolution is to replace the window. There are companies out there that defog these windows. Harder to find. I'm not sure how well they work or how long they last, but that would be the cheapest method. But for surely replacing the window is your most reliable option. I replaced some of these myself. And it's a very simple task, but it's just not an add-on service I would be willing to do. That's a look at bad thermal panes. You saw it here, Window Warriors Forum.